music is illegal. We've now, we've now got people getting into trouble over songs that they make. Uh, Skengdo and AM, the drill rappers, sentenced for playing their song. Already banned from one postcode. I don't know how the fuck you get banned for a postcode. The duo received a prison sentence for performing attempted 1.0, making legal history. We're criminal. We're being criminalised for making music. Sheltered from a sudden downpour in a parked car just off Brixton Road, London, are two of British music's greatest new talents and now biggest outlaws, Skengdo and AM. A fortnight ago, the Metropolitan Police announced that they had secured a sentence of nine months in prison for the two 21-year-old drill rappers suspended for two years for breaching a gang injunction issued in August last year. So America can have gangster rap for literally fucking decades and then as soon as it fucking happens in Britain, we're dishing out sentences. The nature of the breach, performing their song, attempted 1.0 at a London concert in early December. The suppression of black music in the UK stretches back 100 years, but according to Index on Censorship, this is the first time in British legal history that a prison sentence has been issued for performing a song. So it's a suspended sentence, which basically means if they perform the song again, or I'm going to bet any other one like it, uh, they get that nine-month sentence. So it's a case of they're now... Uh, having their artistic freedom restricted basically you know don't don't do it again think think right good citizen or you're off to the gulag the concert at 1400 capacity coco was the culmination of a sold out nationwide tour a celebratory homecoming gig performed in front of a diverse crowd of moshing fans we ended the year on such a positive note we were so proud of what we'd achieved says am we were just really excited about 2019 Skengdo rolls his eyes, and what a fucking start to this year. <laughs> I just feel violated. It's true. I understand. I know what drill rap is. It's violent. It says a lot of bad shit. You know, sometimes it can be anti-white shit and all that stuff as well. But at the end of the day, music is art. Leave it the fuck alone. Uh, the backlash is already gathering pace. A forthcoming open letter signed by civil rights group Liberty and others calls the injunction a threat to all our civil liberties. That prevents young people from discussing the reality of their lives with any hope of being heard. Fuck's sake. Jody Ginsberg, CEO of Index on Censorship. I like Jody. Jody Jody's good people. Uh, points to the long history of the authorities targeting music by people far removed from those in power. The law already prevents individuals from directly inciting violence, but such wide-ranging bans go well beyond this. They are not the way to handle ideas or opinions that are distasteful or disturbing and do nothing to address the issues that lead to the creation of this kind of music. Well, this is the thing is, Scotland's had gangs for a very, very long time. And I know that the gang culture in London is uh, massive. And it all just comes from disenfranchised young men and poverty and just basically not having any sort of productive outlets in your life. So... A lot of people join a gang, it gives them meaning, it makes them feel like they're progressing in some way, you know, with your uh, street cred. <laughs> what a fucking boomer comment. But, like, you know what I mean. So, like, uh, all this is is targeting the symptoms and not the actual cause, and even in this instance, they shouldn't touch the fucking symptoms. Music is art. doesn't matter what it portrays. This is... Are we, are we really going to go down the path again? Is this the, mod is this the modern day equivalent? Of a uh, heavy metal causes devil worship. Like, that. that's what this feels to me. That's what this feels to me. Skengdo and AM suspended jail sentence marks a dramatic watershed in the young life of the controversial UK drill scene. The rap subgenre was born on the south side of Chicago in the early 2010s, built from monotone beats and glinting synths, usually with bleak, charismatically delivered lyrics. It has flourished since being discovered on YouTube by young rappers on the same London council estates that previously produced grime and road rap. Crossover stars such as Giggs and Crept and Cronin. Um, I don't know anything about the rap scene. I know, I know Dizzy Rascal, does that count? <laughs> Uh, Drill was still underground at the end of 2017, but an unholy brew of violent lyrics and music videos, rising incidences of youth violence and media fondness for a pop culture scapegoat. Yeah, yeah, this is the, this is the heavy metal causes devil worship shit all over again. Uh, led to negative headlines in 2018, and we've been naive to deny that there are connections between drill music and real world violence. Lyrics have been cited in several court cases, and the Drill MCM trap was among those convicted. 
of the murder of 15-year-old Jermaine Grupal in August 2017. Okay, so is this... It's also going down the video games cause violence route as well, okay. <coughs> okay. As with moral panics over 90s gangster rap and 2000s UK garage, video nasties, violent Hollywood films and computer games... Literally as soon as I said it, it gets mentioned. Uh, the controversy concerns the muddy waters between cause and correlation. Okay. Hold on, in fact, I'll, I'll read a little bit about the song. This goes on for fucking ages because uh, whenever whenever The Guardian are writing any kind of fucking article, they need to do a big fucking song and dance about it instead of just directly giving you the facts. Uh, the song that landed AM and Skengo plus TS and Blacks, two fellow members of their Brixton bass group 410, their unprecedented sentence is a dark, disarmingly catchy tune that was one of the best rap tracks of 2018. It features AM's trademark Deep Flow, describing alleged historic violent clashes with several members of rival crews, Moscow 17 and Harlem Spartans. Uh, both based barely a mile away to the north, AM taunts their members by name and sketches out cartoonish gang violence. My big 45, it came with fries. I keep her close, my Valentine. Her range ain't shit, it's kinda wide. So if you lack, you're gonna die. <laughs> that's, that's fucking gangster rap, that's all it fucking is, man. Three young men from these crews were killed in the space of a few months in 2018, but there is no suggestion from the police or anyone else that members of 410 were involved. In fact, just, just as I was reading, I was skimming through the article and this is, this is fucking, this is gold. The next claim is that in performing attempted 1.0 at Coco and sharing clips of the gig on social media, Skengdo and AM incited and encouraged violence against rival gang members. In breach of the injunction, the rapper's management team point out that incitement to violence is a crime in itself for which no charge has been brought and that neither of the rappers has ever been convicted of a violent crime. So basically... It's almost the same situation as me. They're basically being convicted for inciting violence when what they performed was a piece of art, right? What they performed was a piece of art. Like, my video was intended to be performed as a joke. They were performing, you know, an art piece. That's what music is. Music's art. But there was no history whatsoever of any of them being involved in violence. None of them being involved in violence. Same with me. There was no evidence whatsoever of me being involved, you know, in any far-right groups or far-right activities. And I still got convicted. And even at that, apparently the police arrested them because this song encourages, and this song is incitement to violence. But they never even get charged with incitement to violence. But they get convicted under some fucking random other law. I just noticed that. I was just reading that there. That is, that is some fucking bullshit. We're arresting you for inciting violence, but that's not what we're going to charge you with. <laughs> Bravo, okay. Fucking Jesus Christ, man. Okay, so this is this is what we're going down now. This this is what we're going down now. This is literally just the modern day equivalent of heavy metal causes devil worship, video games cause violence. I mean, America has had gangster rap for decades, for decades, and it's just proof of how cocked fucking Britain is that as soon as we get a type of equivalent of it here, the police are immediately clamping down on it. But a nine month suspended sentence for singing a fucking song. <laughs> Like, if he was running about on stage waving a gun around or anything, then yeah, fucking whatever, right, that's fucking fine. Right, I would get that. I would get why the police would fucking be. He was singing a song. He said words. He said words. And everyone always tries to do, oh, what if, what if it inspires people to go and do this and inspires people to go and do that? They said the same thing about heavy metal and video games. See if people are far too fucking stupid and they look at a piece of art and it actually inspires them to do, you know, violent actions, then they're fucking idiots. Then they're fucking idiots. Anyone who looks at entertainment and then transforms it into real-world violence deserves to be in fucking jail because it is entertainment. That's what it is. That's all it is, is entertainment. If people actually start looking at movies, like, you see it all the time, what was it? They tried to get Dexter shut down because some kid, you know, was inspired by the program and ended up murdering someone. Um, they try to blame fucking Columbine on Marlon Manson. They're trying to blame all of the gang violence in America on gangster rap. Like, music is just a form of art. I used to listen to fucking Grindcore when I was younger that had horrific lyrics and stuff like that. Lyrics like, you know, rip a fetus out the womb and eat it and shit. <laughs> you know, it's quite... 
you know, not 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 the highest brow of a uh, poetry, but you know that was the type of shit I used to listen to. It didn't mean I wanted to go out and do it. I used to play a lot of you know Grand Theft Auto. It doesn't mean I want to go out, steal cars, and start shooting people because it's just entertainment. That's all it is. But this is the thing: is if they're trying to take, if they're trying to say that these people are violent, they're violent, they're criminals, they're gangsters, and all this type of stuff. What they've done now is removed their ability to express themselves and convey their feelings. What do you think is going to happen then? If people are feeling this way and you've completely taken away their ability to artistically express it, that there is absolutely no way that that is going to lead to anything good. It's never going to lead to anything good, not by a long shot. Leave... Just, just leave art alone, right? Leave art alone and don't hand out fucking prison sentences because someone sang a song. 